I have two of these Bradford pear trees in my yard. There's one there and there's one there. And th this one here actually was a stick, started out as a stick. That was supposed to be a five type of pear, but the, just the roots grew. But what I wanted to show you is that these Bradford pears grow too thick and they blow down. They grow real fast and they grow thick. This one here you can see that I've cut. You can see holes in it where I've cut just yesterday. And both these trees just yesterday I climbed up in here. There's still some branches left. And I cut these branches out and uh, you can't really necessarily see where I've cut those branches out but I do and my theory is you can kind of see how there's a bit of a hole here my theory is that the when you cut branches out like that the wind can blow through it more easily and uh, and then it doesn't blow down another thing a lot of people don't mess with is what you call in the tree business raising the bottom so I've cut the lower branches off here and you can see this tree I a little bit don't like this tree I've cut it more severely plus it hangs over the pool I've cut it pretty severely but uh, I still need to cut more of course you want to cut these out but I cut branches out just to uh, and I'm going to show you next I'm going to show you one where they don't cut it out which is what you usually get. Most people don't mess with it until it blows down. And uh, I've got a willow tree here that this thing was a twig when we. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it makes nice shade for us too. It's it doesn't look too good now because it's fall. I'm going to show you that thick one. Look at how dense that tree is. People think it looks nice. It is kind of a nice looking tree. The bottom needs to be raised up and it's going to blow over because it's just loaded with branches. You can't even hardly see in there. Most of them are like that. Look down at the bottom. There's another one right across the street. That one there is too close to the house. Actually, there's three down there. So there's one more thing I want to say. If you decide you want to go ahead and cut some of those branches out, if you've got a Bradford pear, what I recommend is a saw like this. And I want to tell you, um, you know, there's you can get clippers and stuff too, but or chainsaw, obviously, but you really don't need power. But get yourself a saw like this but I want to tell you right now be very very careful these are very sharp and when you're cutting you can you know you can and if your part of your body is in the way these teeth will go into your skin and I say that from personal experience be very careful